Hi, my name is Dr. Stephen Stokes. Recently, I've had a lot of people reach out to me concerning what they can do to help themselves recover from a stroke. And what I thought I would do is make this video to address everybody's concerns all in one place. Um, however, I want you to know that um, you can reach out to me privately just through my website, Dr. Stephen, S-T-E-P-H-E-N, Stokes.com. And we can talk uh, privately about your specific questions. So at this stage, if you're already searching on YouTube for stroke recovery, I assume that you know what a stroke is. And I'm just not going to spend a lot of time going over the mechanics of the stroke. I assume that you've, you or somebody you care about has already had a stroke. You understand what a stroke is. Instead, I really want to focus the bulk of this video on what you can actually do to help your body recover from that stroke. So let's just jump right into that. These uh, recommendations are going to be divided into two categories. The first one is what herbs, food, and diet I recommend that you uh, use to help your body recover from the stroke. And the second category is what sort of therapies or activities you can do to assist again in the body healing um, from the stroke. Now, let's be very clear here. This is a lot of work. Um, progress comes extremely slowly and you have to be very patient. You should set your goals in months and not weeks. And um, for example, the recommendations I'm gonna give, these would be for the first nine to 12 months post-stroke. And again, um, you're looking for just the minimal sort of improvement in that time. That would be a good sign. Uh, although many of my patients do get 30 to 50% improvement in the first nine to 12 months, using this program. You just have to remember that it's a lengthy process. You cannot get discouraged. Um, you must understand that the body has an innate ability to heal itself. It takes time and you have to work with that level of progression that your body has. The reason most people fail in stroke rehab is lack of consistency and failure to complete the program. Your body can heal, your brain can heal, but you must give it time and also you must prevent more damage. You certainly don't want to have a second stroke. That would be the worst case scenario. We don't want that. And again, these protocols are going to really help you avoid that second stroke. If you adhere to them properly, if you stay consistent and you stay motivated. Now remember that a stroke is a brain trauma, right? This is a brain trauma, which means that it affects the entire body. If you, you can have uh, symptoms like headaches, blurry vision, problems with your five senses, sexual dysfunction, neuropathy, back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, any type of pain, depression, anxiety. Again, a stroke is a brain trauma. So that means that it can produce any type of a symptom because the brain more or less controls the entire body. You have to think about the stroke as a brain trauma and that's the best way to look at it. That will, that will give you more peace of mind, no pun intended. <laughs> um, so you don't think that you're going crazy or something like that because all of a sudden, you know, you're getting pain in your, in your big toe or something like this, or you're getting a uh, pins and needle sensation in your fingertips or all of a sudden you have depression or panic attacks. Again, most likely due to the stroke. Just understand that and move forward with the recovery program. So first, our goals for stroke recovery are as follows. Number one, we want to increase uh, blood flow to the brain. Remember, stroke is primarily a mechanism where there was a lack of blood flow to the brain that caused the injury. So our first goal is we want to increase blood flow to the brain. Secondly, want to strengthen and repair the blood vessels. These are the vessels that were injured during the initial injury. We also want to promote something called neurogenesis of the brain. We basically want to allow the brain to rewire however it feels that it wants to do that. You know, the brain injury may have damaged parts of the brain. We want to encourage the brain to rewire to work around that injury so that you can get back your cognitive abilities. A lot of times people lose memories. They have problems with, uh, with coming up with the right word to say, you know? So they'll be telling somebody, for example, today I fed my cat, 
but instead they'll say something like, today I fed my, my hat. You know, weird things like that will happen as the brain searches for the memory of the word and that area of the brain is damaged and it can't remember it. So we want to encourage this neurogenesis, this improvement of wiring of the brain. And finally, something that's really odd to most people is that we really want to encourage and promote healing of the gut. Now, that doesn't seem right because a stroke is a brain injury, like I've been saying. Why would we want to work on the gut? Well, most of our neurotransmitters, those, those chemicals that are created um, that produce our emotions, most of those chemicals are actually made in the gut. And um, research has shown that stroke damages the gut lining, creates things like leaky gut syndrome. So we definitely want to address the gut in the rehabilitation following the stroke. Okay, so what are the herbs that we want to take to help promote these goals? First and foremost is ginkgo. I recommend um, ginkgo forte by MetaHerb. And ginkgo forte is going to give you the most cleanest, most highest quality um, amount of active constituents in a ginkgo herb. And that's going to promote blood flow to the brain. It's also going to promote blood flow to the peripheral nerves of the body. So it's, a, it's an A number one thing we want to do. We want to take three ginkgo fortes a day with food. That is the foundation of the entire stroke rehab program. And we're going to want to take that immediately. The second uh, product is go to cola. And I like go to cola in its strongest form, which is a one-to-one -one liquid extract by MetaHerb. You take five milliliters of go to cola liquid and you mix it with uh, water or juice. And this is going to provide you with the absolute strongest daily intake of go to cola. Now, why is go to cola so important? Go to cola is the herb that heals the body. This is going to promote healing of the blood vessels, healing of the actual tissue that's been damaged from the stroke, and a lot of healing in the peripheral tissues that got damaged as a result of the brain injury. So go to cola is the healing herb for post-stroke recovery. Again, I really recommend that you purchase the go to cola one-to-one -one liquid extract uh, because it is the most powerful that I'm aware of. They take five grams of herb, they reduce it down so they get 90 milligrams of active constituent, which is very important. And um, if you can't stomach the taste of the liquid extract, although it's not that bad, especially if you mix it with juice, but if you just cannot stomach the idea of taking a liquid extract, you can purchase the um, go-to cola complex. But if you do that, you're getting a little bit less um, powerful go-to cola, and they mix it with things like grapeseed, and I believe there's some ginkgo in there as well. So it's going to be a less aggressive uh, form, but better to take the tablets than not take it at all. However, I do recommend you investigate the go-to cola liquid extract one-to-one. -one. Finally, bacopa. Bacopa is going to be the herb that we use to actually promote the, um, the neurogenesis. Bacopa is going to stimulate the brain to rewire. And bacopa is the number one herb I use in all of my cases of ADD, ADHD, autism, problems where the brain is having trouble drawing connections. Bacopa is the herb for that. And again, I recommend the liquid extract. That is a one to two liquid extract. Again, dilute five milliliters of water or juice once a day. This is going to provide a one to two extract of 2.5 grams of herb. Uh, again, if you're someone that cannot stomach liquid extracts, you can purchase the Bacopa complex tablets. You'll take three of those a day with food. Um, by the way, if you decide to go with the tablets, the Ginkgo Forte, the um, Go To Cola Complex, or the Bacopa Complex, it's three tablets a day spread out with food. If you're taking the liquid extracts, it's just one dose a day of five milliliters diluted with a little bit of juice or a little bit of water. So those three herbs will do the most good in the recovery of stroke. So also, there are certain foods that are really beneficial when we're trying to heal the brain. Um, the first one is buckwheat. 
And buckwheat is a great anti-inflammatory. Um, it's a very powerful food that helps in a lot of ways to heal the body and to reduce inflammation. So unless you're eating a lot of buckwheat every day, which most people are not, um, I would recommend a standard process product called um, Ceruta Plus. And Ceruta Plus is basically a whole food concentrate of buckwheat where they take the buckwheat with a few other, um, a few other synergy, synergistic food, food uh, concentrates. They die, um, dehydrate it, break it down into powder, and make tablets from it. So you're going to take nine of these uh, Ceruta Plus uh, tablets a day. Basically, three, three times a day would be a good dose. And that's going to get you the right amount of buckwheat that you need to get the effect, the therapeutic effect that we're talking about. And people will say, well, that's a lot of, <laughs> nine tablets a day is a lot of tablets. It is a lot of tablets, but remember, this is a whole food concentrate, so it's just like taking food. Think of it like food. This is not a synthetic vitamin. This is basically buckwheat. Um, and if you don't want to take this Ceruta Plus, nine a day, you can eat buckwheat, but a lot of people would rather take the tablets, so that's why I'm making the recommendation. Also, I want you to make sure that you're getting enough protein in your diet. We want to get about one gram of protein per pound of body weight according to the BMI. And the reason for that is that the protein is going to put the body into an anabolic state where it's going to help the body grow and repair. Um, in this case, because we're trying to recover from a stroke, we're going to emphasize performance under longevity over performance over longevity. Therefore, we want to place the body in that anabolic state. If we're trying to recover from cancer or something like that, we may not want to put the body in an anabolic state because we don't want to encourage growth of anything, good or bad. But in the case of stroke recovery, we definitely want to encourage growth. And so we want to get that anabolic state. And the best way to do it is simply by increasing your protein intake to one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So if you're 150 pounds, your goal is to try and get 150 grams of protein per day. A lot of people will have to supplement for that. They'll take things like uh, vital proteins. They make a collagen powder, which is good, or they'll take whey protein shakes or different types of powders to get that extra protein. Um, if that is not your thing, and if you'd rather not do that, then I would recommend you take something called uh, Proto Food by Standard Process. And Proto Food, you take uh, three of those a day, again, one with each meal. And that's going to have make sure that you get all those amino acids and increase the protein intake um, throughout your recovery. Finally, I would like you to take a protomorphogen called neurotrophin. I covered protomorphogens before. Um, they're controversial. I think that in a case of a stroke, they're very useful. The neurotrophin protomorphogen is made from brain tissue and other animal products. Um, if that is not your thing, and if you don't feel like taking that, I understand, then omit it. However, if you're looking for the most effective, fastest way to recover from your brain injury, the protomorphogen neurotrophin is absolutely excellent. Excellent for brain injury, excellent for any type of neurological injury. And remember, this is a brain injury. This is a central nervous system injury. So the central nervous system is made up of the brain and the spinal cord, and it controls essentially the entire body. You have an injury to that area, and neurotrophogen, uh, neurotrophin, which is a protomorphogen is going to really help to alleviate the strain and stress on that system so your body can heal. Again, check out my video on protomorphogens for more information on that. Okay, so like I mentioned, there's a connection between stroke and gut health. Texas A&M has done extensive research on this. You can find it on PubMed, and they've shown clearly that people who've had strokes also suffer from uh, gut dysfunction. And again, the gut is where we make most of our neurotransmitters. This is going to regulate anxiety, depression. It's going to regulate how we basically feel. We want to do something to heal the gut. And this is a large rabbit hole that we can go down. I've made lots of videos on gut health, but at this stage, I'm going to only recommend one thing. It is the blanket treatment that I recommend for anyone with gut conditions or, or gut issues. And that is human milk oleosaccharides. And I've talked about this a lot. 
Human milk oleosaccharides, it's the primal food for the good bacteria in the colon. And what we're going to do is we're going to provide that by taking or eating two wafers a day of a product made by Standard Process called GI Stability. This is going to feed the good bacteria. And that is essentially going to balance everything out over time. We're just going to feed the good bacteria. We're going to let the good bacteria become healthy and populate. And over time, they will overpopulate and basically stamp out the bad bacteria. It's a simple, non-invasive way to balance gut health. It works great. Just take two of these gut stability wafers a day. You just chew them up. They're, they're not bad tasting or anything like that. And they will take care of the gut health for your stroke recovery. So next, I want to discuss therapies. And there are lots of great therapies for stroke recovery. Hyperbaric oxygen is definitely one of them, but a hyperbaric oxygen chamber costs eight to ten thousand dollars. Not most, not a lot of people can afford a hyperbaric oxygen chamber. So I'm going to give you some stuff that you can use uh, in the comfort of your own home that I've found to be very effective over the last 18 to 20 years of treating strokes in my clinic. So first and foremost, I'm going to recommend the Flex Beam Red Light Therapy device. I've made videos on this. This is a great device. It's not expensive. It's a couple of hundred dollars. Um, there's even a discount code coupon on my website if you're interested in purchasing one. You can take this red light therapy device and you can mold it around your head and strap it on and you can achieve some amount of um, therapeutic benefit from that red light therapy on the damaged part of the brain. Now, there's no point in you taking that and laying it on top of your head because you've got this massive structure up here called the skull <laughs> and you're not going to get a lot of penetration through the skull. So you want to place that instead back here at the base of the skull in this soft area. That's where the medulla oblongata lies. This is the brain stem. It's easier to access and the red light therapy is going to stimulate the brain stem, put that into healing mode so that it's going to start working towards healing all the damage in your body. You're going to do 10 minutes of that therapy twice a day. Uh, if you get a flex beam, reach out to me. I'll give you the specifics. But basically, we're going to use a number three setting on that device. Works very well. Lots of research behind this. That's going to be a great go-to uh, therapy device that you can own yourself and use every day. The next thing I want to talk about is balance training. Again, I've made lots of videos on this. The best type of rehab you can do to help with the stroke recovery is going to be balance training and hand-eye coordinated movements. So at the very least, you can get a chair and you can just practice standing on one foot. That will do wonders for training part of your brain called the cerebellum. The cerebellum is intimately connected to pain, intimately connected to healing the rest of the brain. It is like the brain of the brain. Again, I won't get into it now. You can do more research on this. You can watch my other videos. I'll link to them in the description. But we want to do balance training and we want to do hand-eye coordinated movement. So something very simple would be, for example, putting some stickers on the wall and touching your nose and then reaching out and touching, say, the, the blue sticker, then a green sticker, or number the stickers, say one to 20, and go from 20 backwards to one. Nose, 20. Nose, look for it, 19. Nose, look for it, 18. Any kind of thing that involves coordination of the hand and the eyes, anything that involves balance, it's all going to work the cerebellum. If you really want to get good at this, you can do biking for your upper body. So you can get a bicycle, one of those little peddlers, put it on a desk and just use your, like this, use your arms like this in a, in a pedaling movement. And this will help to develop that hand-eye coordinated movement. Or you can just do it like I'm doing here now. You can even hold some light weights and do this. You can get bands and do this. You can make up whatever you want, but the key is you want to get moving and you want to have hand-eye coordinated movement. That's going to stimulate the brain more than anything else. Light walking, if you can do it, is excellent as well. And if you find that you're having problems with anxiety or depression, which is very frequently a problem when it comes to stroke rehab, please uh, take some Valerian Complex by MetaHerb. It is my go-to product for depression and anxiety relaxes the muscle system. A lot of people who've had strokes 
have spastic muscles. You know, they may have an arm that is twisted up like this or their face could be twisted. There's a lot of spasticity in the muscles. Valerian complex will help to naturally relax the muscle system by relaxing the nervous system. So it's going to be a great product for you to take. You can take several of those uh, tablets over the course of a day. They're non-habit forming. They're easy on your system. They really do help an awful lot. So this is just a brief um, overview of what I recommend for stroke rehab. Again, please reach out to me privately if you'd like some more information. There is hope. I know a lot about this. I've treated for 18 to 20 years. And recently, one of my own family members has suffered a small stroke. So I had an opportunity to implement a lot of these strategies on a very personal level, and I've seen fantastic results. So if you've had a stroke, don't be discouraged. Don't get depressed. Remember, go to work, do the work, and help your body get better. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And please check out my website, www.drstephenstokes.com, where I have all sorts of tools that you can use uh, in your recovery. There's free copies of my books there. You can consult with me one-on-one. -on -one, and um, you can purchase a lot of these products that I mentioned directly from the distributors with discounts. Thank you very much.